to us um, how your good God managed to create the devil. Thank you very much. The gentleman's question, yeah. The gentleman's question is how did a good God manage to create the devil? The answer is he created him as an angel with choice and that choice Lucifer he made to rebel against God. Thank you very much. Hi. How can God create something that can change its mind? Did God make a mistake then? The gentleman's question is, how can God create something that can change his mind? God can change his mind. He changed his mind when Abraham said, I'm going to wipe out, so uh, God said, I'll wipe out Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham said, if there's 30, will you wipe them out? Is there's 20, if there's 10, and he kept whittling it down. And he changed his mind. So the answer is, he can change his mind. Can you please ask me a difficult question? I'm going to leave that aside. 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 I'm going to leave easy ones. Give me a difficult one. That's right. You're not going to wriggle out of this business of the devil, right? Okay, so you're saying... The devil and I said he made him pure and the devil fell. Why is that a wriggle out? Hey, hey, come on, ask me. So, Sign, sealed and delivered. Sorry, sorry. Can you please be quiet? Right. Okay. But surely, surely God knows everything. He knew the future. So therefore he knew that he was going to change his mind. He knew that he was going to end up creating the devil. So you don't wriggle out of it. Your God created the devil and your God is therefore partly evil. Ladies and gentlemen, that is wrong. Listen to this. Somebody says to me, I'm having a little baby. And I say, that's great news. And the baby's name's Adolf. What do you think about that? The baby born was okay. But he came into this world and did a terrible thing. Same with the devil. He's come to steal, kill and destroy. And I'll tell you how powerful he is. He's got that man in the corner. Oh, I thought you were with them. He's got no hope. And I'll show you why he's got no hope, sir. You've asked me two questions. Here's a question to you. Go and wriggle out. You are the wriggler. I've seen you on Batman. You are the wriggler. You are the wriggler. You are the wriggler. You're from Gotham City. Ray Wriggler. He's wriggler. Isn't he wriggling out my question? Here's my question. Here's my question. Give some hope to dying men. Give some hope to dying men. What have you got? I'm a dying man. Give me some hope. Listen to the wriggler. Off you go. Hey. I'm not wriggling. I am. You're the wriggler. You worship the God that is both good and evil. Unless, unless he created evil and he made a mistake. Uh, I can go. Ladies and gentlemen, have you done wrong? Yes. Are you a dying man? Yes. Have you done wrong? Yeah, yes, I have. Christians are you? I, this man is not a Christian, wrong. sir. What are you talking? He's not. Are you a Christian? Don't talk about the devil. He's, he's not a Christian. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Come on, then. Yes, madam. Will you please wake up during the interview? Yes. <laughs> you're dying. Have you got a hope? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, all we're saying is we've done wrong. Yes. So I'm part of the human race, going from dust to dust, yes. and you're on the same journey. And you've got no hope. Do you know two weeks ago in Bristol, a comedian stood up 59 years of age from London and this is what he said to his audience. He said, if I die tonight, what would you think? Ten minutes later, he flopped in the chair and he went into eternity. You read the story on the news. And ladies and gentlemen, as a Christian, I'm saying this. God loves this world. He loves you. And he died on a cross. If you want free dancing lessons, the wriggler over there. Hey! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? You're from Gotham City. <laughs> my back. You're talking to my back. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm not going to have to spend eternity with you. Bye, wriggler. Thank you, the wriggler. Hey, hey, I'm not a wriggler. I'm not a wriggler. No, 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 no. Well, from religion to Christianity, would like to stand here and be interviewed. Here's your big chance, I won't give you a bad time. Anybody? Sir? Great, what's your name? Crammer, nice to see you. Crammer, just stand there between these two. Okay, now, just by, can you just say your name, madam? Karen. This is Karen, Karen. Okay, and Crammer, is that right, Crammer? And this man is? Wes. Wesley, this is Wesley. I'm Vinny, and this is? Simeon. Simeon. Now, just shout out what your life persuasion is. Ladies and gentlemen, do not insult me with poor questions. I want really tough ones. All right? If you want to step in, you can. 
Uh, Karen, what's your persuasion in terms of your Christian convictions or otherwise? What are you? Um, I'm uh, evangelical. You're a Christian? You're yeah. a Christian. Grandma, what are you? You don't believe in God at all? Okay, Wesley, what are you? I'm a Christian, Vinny. Okay, you're a Christian, you are not. You don't believe, and you say you're a Christian too. And what are you? Christian. A Christian. Have we got anybody else who's not a Christian to come up here and answer the questions? Anybody else who's not, would you like to join us? Not a Christian. I'm looking for a man or a woman who's not a Christian. Any, I'm trying to be fair to the audience, you see. Yes, you, you can join us. Join oh, us. I could have yeah, 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 Yes, come on, yeah, yeah, just stand yeah, yeah. on the end. What do, what do you want? Easy, well, stay there, I'll ask you the question. What do you want? I want to ask you some questions. Stop stay it. there if you wish, okay. Yeah. Stay, keep in there. Okay, yes. Stay there, sir, you'll be fine there. I am Muslim, okay. alhamdulillah. And do you have a name? What's his name? Uncle Jamal. Me? Yes, what would you like to be today? Abdullah. Abdullah. Okay, so we've got Abdullah, we've got uh, Simeon, Vinny, Wesley, sorry, Karama and Karen. Now listen, and you, Vinny, Vinny's my name, Abdullah, Vinny. my Vinny. Now ladies and gentlemen, I've got two non-Christians, or two people from different faiths, and three Christians, okay? You can ask a question any time you like, as long as it's in English and I can understand it. Here we go, right. Karen, if this was your last day on earth, if, do you know exactly where you're going for sure? For sure. Abdullah, where are you going? We need you. Hey, oh, I am Muslim. I am Muslim. I like all Muslim people and the Christians and the Jews and everything. And you not like Muslim. You not like Muslim. You crazy man. I like all. I like everybody. Karen, if you left the world today, do you know where you're going? Yes or no? Yes. You do know. Okay, I come. If you left the world today, do you know where you're going? You don't know. Okay, Wesley, do you know where you're going? Yeah, I do. One hundred percent. I know where I'm going. So you know where you're going. You're not certain. You know where you're going. Do you know where you're going? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Now you can ask, ladies and gentlemen, from the crowd. I've got one gentleman here. Abdullah's done a runner. He must have gone for that. I've got one who's not certain. Now. Simeon, have you been a Christian all your life? No. Have you been a Christian all your life? No. Have you been uncertain all your life? No. Have you been a Christian all your life? No. Now when they say they're not Christians all their life, ladies and gentlemen, it obviously means they've become one. Can you remember what month, Karen, you became a Christian in? What month? What month? It was June. June? And what about you? Some, sometime in the winter. In the winter. So winter months in June. Okay. June. Now Wesley, obviously this gentleman doesn't believe that there's a God or he's not sure and he's looking for something. Wesley, if you were looking for faith or a belief in God, where would you point to solid fact? So don't tell me so it's pie in the sky. We want to know where's the solid fact that you'd be basing your faith on? I would point to the Bible. Okay, and people would say, well, the Bible is just a book like the Quran. What would you say then? Well, I'd say it's God inspired. It's his word. Okay, and what does it say in the Bible that make us think? That make us think. Yeah, well, when we read it, it makes us think. So what does it say? It's got a message. Uh, what would it say? The message is that after we die, there isn't this, it isn't the end. A lot of atheists would say that that's it, you die, there's nothing. But the Bible talks about how there's a heaven and a hell okay. that we would eternally go to. Okay, so you're saying, Wesley, that you read the Bible and you find there's a place called heaven that yep. Jesus said was there and there's a place called hell. And you're saying that you're certain that you'll be safe in eternity. I am certain, yeah. Okay, now, uh, if you were giving a young man like this something, something to think about as a Christian to a person who's not sure, what would you say? I, I would point to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and challenge you to look into it and and if it's true uh, what are you going to do with Christ? Okay so the big question is thank you for that question the gentleman asked how do you know it's true because I could say anything and somebody said that's not true but how do you know the resurrection is true? The resurrection is uh, well attested it's the, the facts are that Christ lived and he died and there's an empty tomb um, and there's all sorts of explanations you can try and use to explain the empty tomb, but actually none of them really uh, add up. Um, 
I mean, give you one of them. Many people say the disciples stole the body. Um, if that's true, then why did they all die saying that the resurrection is true if they know it's a lie? It doesn't quite work, you see? So whatever explanation you give for the empty tomb, none of them really add up other than Christ really did rise from the dead. Okay, now ladies and gentlemen, you can come back. What we've got here, that is my name, Karen on the end. This gentleman's in the, in the middle wondering about what's true, what's not true. This man says he's certain of heaven and I, I'm a Christian, I live in Merseyside. And this man, where do you live? Uh, rugby. In Watch rugby, it. and you're saying that Jesus beat the grave? Yes. Okay, now here's the big question. Ladies and gentlemen, are there definite rights and wrongs in the world? Yes. Or is it just opinions? Definite rights and wrongs. Do you give me a right and give me a wrong then? Abortion is a wrong. You think it's wrong to yes. abort a baby? Absolutely, okay. it's murder. And can you give me a right? Thou shalt not kill. That, is that a right or is that a command? It's a command, but we shouldn't do it. Okay, now why shouldn't we do it, ladies and gentlemen? Gentlemen, why shouldn't we kill? It's wrong. But we've been killing meat for animals all years. I've been eating. You mean thou shall not murder? Uh, yes, murder, that's, murder. That's, that's of God. Okay, okay, so you, you believe we shouldn't murder? Okay. Have you murdered? I've eaten somebody which is murder. Okay, so you've done the thing you shouldn't do. And what religion are you? Christian. All right. Now, what I'm asking folks is, we know there's definite rights and wrongs. Listen to this. I believe two and two is four. Does anybody want to disagree with that? You're happy with that? Yes. Four and four is eight. I believe that. I believe that too. In other words, four and four was eight. Today, last week, week before, when the Romans marched. Amen to that, brother. Isn't it true? Amen to that, brother. Sir, stop saying amen. You're upsetting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now listen. Four and four is eight. It's been eight for a long time, hasn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, there are some things that are absolutes in this world. When they flew the planes into the Twin Towers, was that right or wrong? Wrong. Why was it wrong? Because the man's point at the back was, you shall not murder. All right. When that guy called David Hamilton shot those kids in Dunblane a few years ago, was it right or wrong? Wrong. So there's things in the world that are definitely wrong. Now... If you apply the atheist thinking, get ready, Aye. to the world of football. So Liverpool are playing Spurs next next week and Spurs are going to hammer them, but that's just a production. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> listen, listen. And then what happens is the ref goes into the Spurs changing room yeah. and Pochettino says, do you mind if I play 22 players tonight? Would that be fair? No! If Liverpool only play 11. We still beat them though. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you can't because you say you can't play 22. That's wrong. Because right. the rules say you can only have 11. Yes. It's yes. true, isn't it? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't believe there's a God, my question to you is this. Yes. How do you decide what's right and wrong? Exactly. <laughs> that man is not on my side, but he's doing a good job. <laughs> and what have you done to that squirrel? Yep.